Well, it's been a wet overnight and a wet morning here as this coastal low continues to tighten up. You can see the upper level low spinning around the uh, Georgia and uh, Mississippi or uh, Alabama uh, panhandle there. But the surface lows right off our shores. You can see the lightning activity, but that's going to remain mostly offshore. Maybe a couple thunderstorms try to spill over, but especially by the lunchtime hour, that threat diminishes. A little bit of a lull south of uh, 70, east, west of Highway 17. Heavier showers right now continuing to push offshore of the Outer Banks, but again, there are some showers behind it that we'll see this morning. You see a couple of these can continue to be moderate to heavy at times, but the, by the time we hit lunchtime and through the afternoon, we will dry out. Most of us will stay dry, maybe a spotty shower here and there, especially in our inland counties. And notice some of the breakage in the clouds. We could get to see the sunshine just a little bit this afternoon, especially around that 17 corridor. This brown color here, that is a, called a dry slot associated with that upper level low. That's expected to be overhead uh, around that 17 corridor around lunchtime. So if you get to see the sunshine, don't be surprised. But that doesn't mean it's completely over as that low lifts north this evening. Here's heading into dinner time. That wraparound moisture could give us still a few spotty showers, but not as heavy as what we saw overnight tonight and this morning. So just a few stray showers around, light showers as you head past dinner time into the overnight. Uh, that will continue to lift north and we'll actually start to clear out the clouds as we head into Monday morning here. Gale warning still into effect as we head into uh, this morning, 11 a.m. Temperatures right now near 60 along the coast, low 40s. It will be around that 60 degree mark, upper 50s to low 60s across the region. And if you do get to see the sunshine, you could even maybe see the mid 60s. High pressure builds back in though to start the work week. We're going to see plenty of sunshine, a pleasant afternoon tomorrow. We'll be a little bit breezy, but we'll clear the clouds out in the morning. See plenty of sunshine in the low 60s. And as we head into Valentine's Day, plenty of sunshine as well. Mid 60s and we're on our way off to the races to the 70s yet again as we end the week with our next best chance of rain heading into Friday. We do have that ECU baseball opener on Friday. We're going to try to get the showers out of there by that time.